this video I want to show you how to use your iPad in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, especially how to use it to show a live map of where you're flying. This map gives you much more detail than the built-in map in Microsoft Flight Simulator and of course you have it on an external monitor which will be your iPad. The two apps that I'm showing you are by no means my own development and I haven't found them uh, personally either, I just came across them on two other YouTube videos, I will link to them in the description. And what I'm just showing here is how to install them, how to use them, and how to fix an issue with a screen recorder if you are recording your flights and post them to YouTube or somewhere else. First thing is go to that site that you hear, see here, msfsaddons.org, uh, and you will need to download two programs. The first one, just search for it. If we are a map, and then you will get a, a result. Just click on it and it will take you through the installation procedure. Of course, what you're seeing here is on your PC, that's not on your iPad. What you will need to install on your iPad, I will show you in a minute. And that is freeware um, and there's no registration or nothing, at least so far, I just installed it today. Um, it doesn't ask, ask for your credit card or anything. Uh, of course, I have no idea how secure uh, it is. Um, my virus scanner hasn't, hasn't raised, any, raised any concerns, so um, I trust it will be safe, but of course I cannot guarantee that it's on my app. Just download the zip file, then um, just unzip it to wherever you want to have it. I put it in a folder called Microsoft Maps, but you can call it whatever you want. Then the next program that you need on your PC, it's the same starting page that we downloaded the maps from. But now we're looking for the iPad integration app. You will get these pop-ups all the time, unfortunately. But I mean, it's for free, so um, that gives them ad revenue. And that is called Space Desk. And here you need two parts. You need one part for your PC. Um, the download is also quite straightforward. Just scroll down and download it. And in addition, you will need an app on your iPad. I will show you a screenshot in a second. I think it also works on Android, but I don't have an Android um, tablet, so um, I haven't tried it out. I haven't tried it on my iPhone either. So for your PC, just use whatever version uh, is applicable to you. And it's also just a few megabytes. It's not a big program, so it will go in a minute. So I'm not showing you the whole installation because I already installed it and didn't want to uninstall it. Um, but just click on next until it's installed on your hard disk. What that does, actually it links your PC to your iPad and recognizes your iPad as a second monitor. And then of course you will need the uh, app that I will show you here, Space Desk from the iZone, um, from the App Store. And you will need to be logged onto the same wireless LAN at home. And then it connects automatically. Once you've done that, just start your Microsoft Flight Simulator, go into a flight, so just be ready for takeoff. Then open the maps. That's the zip file that you downloaded before. It will just open a black screen. You can just hide it. And then you need, I use the Chrome um, Internet Explorer. I'm not sure if you can also use other ones. You need to type in exactly that address that will open the map and you will see now there's nothing more you need to do um, it will show you exactly where you are right now in flight simulator so right now i'm in southern denmark um, that's exactly the airport that i chose uh, you can zoom in you can zoom out not on your ipad with your fingers but you have to use your your mouse or whatever you're using on your pc um, and it, that is very accurate that's exactly where i'm standing like a few meters to the left maybe um, Of course, you need to open the uh, Space Desk on your iPad simultaneously. And then your iPad, as you see here, will work as a second screen. So you see now I got my iPad in my front. Uh, excuse for that weird setup. <laughs> and I got that uh, TV that I'm right now using for flight simulator in the back. Um, now I'm taking off from that airport in Denmark that I showed you. And you will see that it simultaneously updates the map on the iPad. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. It even gives you the information there on the iPad uh, um, about uh, how fast you are, how high altitude and so on. 
if you want to move the map on uh, on the iPad, you will need to use your mouse from your PC. Just use it as you would use it for a second monitor and then zoom in, zoom out, zoom out or whatever you want to do. Um, you see it even follows the path of your of your plane. I've been only using it for a few hours um, today, uh, but it works perfectly fine. I haven't noticed uh, FPS drop in Flight Simulator either, maybe one frame or so, but I can really notice the significant drop. And besides from that, I haven't experienced any difficulties. It's very straightforward. Um, what did not work is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience screen recorder, which I used to record my flights and then just post them here on my tiny little channel. Um, that crashes all the time. Not sure if it's uh, if it can be fixed with settings in the um, Experience app, in the Experience program on a PC, um, but it has apparently issues with the second monitor with that iPad. What will work, and I will show that at the end of my video now, is if you are using Bandicam, which I show you here. So if I use Bandicam and I record my flight, it works. So I can record my flight on my main screen, which is right now my TV, and the second monitor, the iPad, just does whatever it does. Um, and these two don't interfere. And here again, I didn't notice an FPS drop, at least nothing significant, um, maybe one or two frames or so and that works perfectly fine. If I personally prefer the GeForce Experience um, over the Bandicam, also Bandicam, um, you have to pay if you're not only using the freeware. Um, so if anybody knows how to use GeForce Experience with that setup, just leave a comment. I would be very interested in that. So that's the setup two programs and use Bandicam or maybe other software. Uh, let me know if there's other software that works as well if you record your flights. Um, and that is actually what Microsoft should have included in the first place, that you actually know where you're flying. So if you're flying like me only by sight and visual orientation, um, this brings your Microsoft Flight Simulator to a di whole different level than it was before. Um, so. Thanks again. I hope that video was uh, helpful for you and check out the links in the description for the two other YouTube videos, not from me, but from other YouTubers that uh, tell a little more about the app and so on and how they used it. So I'm not taking credit for that part here. Thank you very much and uh, have fun with that app.